Today I wanted to show y'all my trailer. We built it and I just wanted to show it to you and show you how I built it. We made the bottom the uh, bottom of it out of two by two angle and we made the uprights here out of one and a half angle and we made the top pieces out of one inch angle the gate is made out of one inch, one inch angle and here we took a little piece of pencil rod and what it to a piece of half inch square stock and welded it to the trailer and then took a piece of flat bar and cut it and drilled a hole in it and slipped it over to put a pin through it to hold the gate up and for the hinges we took and made a piece of pipe two pieces of pipe that would slip inside each other so it go up and down good I've got some little oh it just got bent I've got these little chains I can hook on here to hold it up when I don't want it to be all the way down and I can take it completely off if I want to this is some expanded metal I'm not sure what size it is we just found it on a scrap pile we got two by fours on it we went with the two bys instead of one bys because it would be stronger we got a boat trailer axle we had to shorten it about two feet to get it to be the right length and this hitch came off of a 5 by 10 bumper pull trailer and a friend of mine gave it to me. We welded it on here. We got one one inch angle A-frame braces and a piece of about half by two flat bar that I found for a tongue. It works really good. I've been happy with it so far. We also have some little hooks right here to put the chain on. We got it where it closes, where it's just inside of the gate. We just right. It's four foot long and two foot wide. I made it more long and skinny so I could pull it down trails and stuff without hitting trees. I'm not sure how much it weighs, but my 185 pulls it good. It don't have any problems. 